So it's opening day of baseball, and we thought we'd uh, tailgate. Make hot dogs. Yeah, make hot dogs. We thought we'd tailgate. Make hot get, dogs. And get ready for the baseball games today, right? No, hot dogs first. Yeah, hot dogs first. You're right. And the baseball, they may not have a noise inside. Yeah, they do have the noise inside. We're in the quarantine, so we don't have any baseball, but we do have hot dogs. As a Phillies fan, we're going to make a hot dog a day for about the next five or six days. I have a few different recipes we can try, and I'm going to match it up to some of my all-time favorite Phillies. And this is... We're going to make hot dogs over the next couple days. And you're probably thinking to yourself, how many freaking hot dogs can you make? The answer is, you can actually make a ton of different hot dogs. You can make a ton of different varieties, and you can have a lot of different and toppings. this is not, I not like that. I know you don't like that. Today, we're gonna be honoring number one. Fitting for number one, right? Uh, that's, that's Richie Ashburn. You put foot down. Classic Philly. And we're going to do a classic style dog. We're going to do a little twist that's yeah, going to be a little different. My dog's barking at people and dogs. Hot dogs? Mm -hmm. They're Burke's brands. We have a sweet onion. I don't like that. I know. And we got hot dog rolls. I like that. We got just the classic ketchup. I like that. And mustard. I don't like that. And that I is like it. That. That's all we're doing. It's a classic hot dog for a classic Philly. Mince yep. up the onions and then take the other half and throw it down on the grill and get a nice char. Once you get the char you're looking for, pull it off the grill and slice it up. I mean, what the hell do you have to prep a hot dog for? It's not like you have to trim fat off of it. You're exactly right. But you know what you do have to do? You have to trim it so you get the maximum flavor out of the hot dog. Uh huh? Come on, guys. Not, I'm not no rookie when it comes to a hot dog. We're going to slice these in a way that you can optimize the flavor coming out of your hot dog. All you have to do is put your knife on a 45 degree angle and just rotate the hot dog away from you as you cut with the knife and cut about a quarter inch down. Nobody likes a hot dog that doesn't fill the length of the bun. Get over yourself. I don't want a mouthful of bread. Pfft. The hell would I want that for? I want a hot dog in every single bite. And the swirl gives it to you. Do you want your bun toasted or no? No. Just a classic hot dog. These swirl dogs are fantastic. The outside of the skin gets really crispy, just like bacon when you cook them over the grill, and then the inside is cooked just perfectly. Now here, I'm adding both grilled onions, which are the, are the longer sliced onions I'm grabbing on the right-hand side, and then out of the little dish are raw onions. I'm giving it a little bit of both of those flavors so it's not too overwhelming with the grilled flavor, but it is just simply delicious. Feel free to add some relish on it. I still say that's a classic hot dog. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe below. Share it with your friends. I'm going to have a few more hot dog recipes out there just to celebrate the start of the baseball season that's not happening. Even though I'm making these all after my favorite Phillies players, feel free to do the same with your favorite team. Just don't make it the Mets. Be sure to wash your hands and stay safe out there in the quarantine.